What's up guys? Uh, today the video is about uh, the Intel NUC. I just got my replacement unit uh, from uh, Intel warranty service. So I thought it might be a good idea to do an unpacking and assembly video about it. So without further ado, here we go. Brand new machine. So it comes with the new mod. This one is a 7 Gen i5. It's the thicker model because I want to have the 2.5 inch drive bay in it. One USB 3 port. Another USB 3 port, but this one is always uh, powered. Uh, 3.5 millimeter audio jack, ear power switch, ventilation. You have one HDMI 2.0 port, so 4K is not a problem for this machine. Your charger port, one gigabit uh, Ethernet connection two other uh, USB 3 port and a Thunderbolt uh, 3 well USB C type can pretty much do anything with this port and lastly on the side you have the micro SD reader various uh, instruction booklet about the dismount and how to connect your card and other stuff safety information warranty booklet a little badge One of the very neat feature of those knocks that I like is that they give you a VESA mount so you can screw it in the back of your monitor directly and slide your knock on it so like that you don't see it, it doesn't take any space on your desk it's, it's a really neat feature so those are the the riser and the screw for the um, M.2 drives. Screws for the VISA mounting mechanism. And lastly, the power supply. This bag is sealed. So you get the small wall adapter. And wall uh, various uh, European power plugs. Here in Canada we use the same uh, electrical standard than the United States. So this one is gonna do the trick for me. Simple as that. You just slide it in. Now, the neck itself. Let's open it up. You 
gently turn counterclockwise each screws and don't try to take them out the keys they won't come out side something like that mm, pretty tight here we go you have the two inch and a half mechanism wires are really short though Set up our cable. I'm so afraid to just break it. Ah, there we go. Try to remove. Here's the internal. So you put your two um, DDR4 slots here. This slot is for your M.2 SSD, either in 2242 format or 2280. Um, those not take both SSD um, NVMe drives and also NVMe. SSD drives because this connector have for PCIe lane in it. Also the 7 gen of NUC like this one is compatible to Intel update memory module. So without further ado, put the RAM in it. Second RAM stick. There we go. Now the M.2 drive. The screw is really super tiny. So pay attention to that when you're replacing it or installing to not lose the screw. It can be a pain to find inside of uh, that case. On the first one I had, uh, I dropped the screw in it and I had to pull the complete motherboard to get it back because it was kind of stuck in the um, the CPU uh, heat sink fins M.2 drive installed There's a mount bag, they give also the uh, smaller screws for the hard disk. Take the four necessary screws to mount it on. Make myself a little bit more room. This is an old 500 gigabyte Toshiba drive that I took from my dead PS3 unit.
you slide your disk in until you reach the bottom of the SATA connector. And as you can see, the screw holes and threads from the hard disk are aligned. So now I just have to put the screws. And pro tip, when you put uh, an hard disk or SSD or anything else that is in such a small enclosure or rack or whatever, when you slide your disk in something that tight, first of all, put the four screws just a little bit and when you put in the fourth screw I can get this one to align properly I'm gonna need a bigger screwdriver downstairs. Ah, anyway. Got it. So, once you put all of your first screws, the first one, you tighten it, and then you tie the three other ones. There we go. Now the SSD drive is mounted and this rubber piece, well, it's a, a thermal transfer pad. It's to keep the M.2 memory chip cool as possible because it's touching it when it's in place. Okay. I'm gonna connect back the SATA data cable then the SATA power cable. Oh my god they are so tiny. I'm super afraid to crack them. Oh, wait a second. Look at this. It's already cracked. My god. Now it's connected. I gotta be I gotta have to be super careful with this connector. Because there's no way I gotta be able to exchange it again. Screws all the way in.
fully assembled. Now the only thing to do is to update the BIOS. Be sure that uh, you're on the lastest version. Then install Windows and use it. Those little bugs are pretty damn capable. And you can even turn them into Hackintosh. And that's what I'm going to do with this one. I'm going to install the uh, OSX in it and use it as an uh, Adobe Premiere editing machine. Well, this video has already been enough long, so uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hit uh, like if you liked it. If you uh, hit dislike if you dislike and uh, thanks for watching please subscribe and see you in the next video goodbye